Hello everyone, welcome back to the map of mathematics. In this video, we are going to solve this nice math lumped exponential problem. And here we have 49 to the power of n minus 42 to the power of n equals to 36 to the power of n. And in this question, we find the value of n. So that the very first step we are going to do is here first we divide both of the sides by 49 to the power of n and it will be written as 49 to the power of n over 49 to the power of n minus 42 to the power of n over 49 to the power of n equals to 36 to the power of n over 49 to the power of n and now in the next step you see here these two values are cancelled by each other and here we get only one minus here we combine the exponent of these two terms and we write it as 49 42 over 49 and its whole power n equals to similarly here we again combine the exponent of these two terms and we write it as 36 over 49 and its whole power n and now in the next step we just make little bit simplification here and now we cancelled these two terms by the table of 7 and you know that we 7 6 is a 42 and 7 7 is a 49 so this will becomes 1 minus 6 over 7 and its whole power n equals to here we write 36 as 6 square and 49 as 7 square and its whole power n and now in the next step here we need more simplification and we write it as 1 minus 6 over 7 and its whole power n equals to here we combine the uh, exponent of 6 over 7 and we write it as 6 over 7 square and its whole power n and now in the next step you see here uh, we have we need to uh, interchange these two exponents and we write it as 6 over 7 and its whole power n and its whole square and in the left hand side we have 1 minus 6 over 7 and its whole power n so here uh, we convert this equation this exponential equation into the quadratic form so that we will take y equals to 6 over 7 and its whole power n so when you put the value of y in this in the above equation we write it as 1 minus y equals to y square so here uh, we simplify this equation and we write in standard form so we move 1 minus y to the right hand side and we write it as y square plus y minus 1 equals to 0. So here we use the quadratic formula in order to solve this quadratic equation. So that first here we write the exponents of this equation. Sorry, the coefficients of this equation. And we have a equals to 1, b equals to 1, and c equals to minus 1. And we have the quadratic formula will be written as minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a. So this is the our quadratic formula and now we put the values of a, b and c in this formula and we write it as you have the value of b is minus 1 plus minus square root of b square so b is 1 and 1 square is 1 and we have the value of a is 1 and c is minus 1 so this minus times of minus becomes plus and we get 1 plus 4 divided by 2 so here we get y equals to minus 1 plus minus square root of 5 divided by 2 so now we convert this part into cases so first we write the positive value which is minus 1 plus uh, square root of 5 over 2 and in the second part we write the negative value which is minus 1 minus square root 5 over 2 so that here we 
need to back substitute the value of y and you know that here we have the value of y is 6 over 7 and its whole power n so we put this value on both of these cases so this case will becomes 6 over 7 and its whole power n equals to minus 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 and this will become 6 over 7 and its whole power n equals to minus 1 minus square root 5 over 2. So now first you focus on the second case and in this case in the left hand side we have an exponential function and in the right hand side we have a negative value. So this will become a negative integer or negative uh, real number. So that we know about exponential function it always gives us the positive value so this will always gives the positive value and it cannot be possible an exponential function equals to some negative value so that we will rejected this case because it is not possible an exponential function equals some negative value and here we uh, proceed this case only and in this case we need to find the value of n so that we use the calculator and we write both of these term in simplified form so when we divide 6 over 7 then you get 0 0.8571 and its whole power n equals to when we simplify this whole equation then we get 0 0.6180 and now in the next step we need to take the log on both of the sides and when we take log on both of the sides then it will become 0 0.8571 and its whole power n equals to log of 0 0.6180 so here we use the property of log and we move this exponent in the front of this log and it will become n times of log 0 0.8571 equals to log of 0 0.6180 and here we use the calculator or logarithmic table in order to find the value of this log and log 0 0.8571 equals to minus 0 0.0669 and the value of log 0 0.6180 equals to minus 0. 2090 so here we move this this value to the right hand side and we get the value of n equals to minus 0 0.2090 divided by minus 0 0.0669 so when we divide these two terms then we get the value of n is 3.12 so this is the our final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos